Hi and welcome. You're here with Bella Katrina. We're doing a soulmate snapshot for Tina B from Houston, Texas. Hi, Tina, and welcome, everybody. We're looking at um, soulmate connection for romance coming up in the month of July. And we have messages here from Archangel Michael. Jesus, the Ascension and Forgiveness Master, Son of God, Lord and Saviour, King, Host of Hosts. There's a favourable outcome here for you for your soulmate connection. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So you're learning to detach, let go and ask for help. Dear Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with bringing in my divine love partner. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. So there's a few details here that you're worried about. Worried about details, I get. So this I got here to shield yourself. They're not your troubles. And other people um, are sending, I see fire arrows at you, firing arrows of fire, firing arrows of fire. <laughs> Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe and then name these specific people. So you could do that every night, shielding yourself, right? Learning to shield your energy, learning Reiki with me. We have the romance angels here and also these healing angels. These are from Doreen Virtue. So I studied with Doreen. It's very exciting. Doing angel therapy practitioner workshop in Hawaii on the island of Kona. So I see that you're an angel lady, you love the angels, and I do feel like you're a wing maker, okay? So you've come from a um, specific star seed, they are showing me. So there's connections here to Andromedan, star, they call it something else, star constellation, that's it. And um, you're getting your downloads, your pituitary gland is connecting to your pineal gland and it's actually starting to, your rainbow starting to light up. So you've done a lot of, um, you're very sensitive, right? That's why you've, you're aware of these bright lights that you work under. Do you know what I mean? The fluoro lights and um, EMP towers and frequency are very, very um, susceptible. You know, you can feel it in the vibration and you're full on, you're like a tuning fork, right? So you need to get a vibration and get anchored down so that um, you can transmute these energies because they're full on in Texas at the moment. Here's your answered prayer for your loved one to come in. Please just stay serene and in your truth and integrity. Because of patience, it may test you here that you're waiting for things to fall into place. So stay in your truth. Don't act out. Don't act jealous. You know, like you can do it, but don't act too um, in public. Be serene and kind and nice to yourself because your prayer has been answered and is now on its way to you. And is the prayer... Yeah, see, it's something about timing for this relationship to come in. And in the meantime, you're actually asked to have as much fun as possible to, um, in, to bring this miracle in. There's a miracle being formulated right now. So well done. Keep your energy really high. Connect with Gaia. Connect with nature. Because this can take out, if you lay on the earth, right, Mother Nature, Gaia, will take out all your pain from your back and actually will ground you. You know, like the um, trees take in the carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Well, Gaia does that for you. She's your healer. She's saying, let me be your healer. Be in nature more often on your own, listening to the birds, picking the flowers, just like you did as a child. Because there's enchantment coming back into your life in a big way. There's a magical thread coming through and it makes you feel more alive than you felt in a very long time. Your prayer is answered. They keep saying it's already answered. Allow it to come in as it, miracles follow it. 
So you get the answered prayer and then you get a miracle. This card is the angel's way of telling you to expect a miracle. Perhaps you feel that you need one right now because you can't see any other way to a solution. Be open to allowing God to help you resolve your challenges in ways that will surprise you. You open the door for miracles when you become willing to surrender your fears to God. Visualize the angels carrying away the issue and feel yourself supported by God's wisdom and creativity as you relax into the source. You are assured that blessings are surrounding you right now. Be open to a miracle coming your way. Very nice time. It's time. It's your time. So you're getting an answered prayer and you're also getting a miracle. So this is a state of receptivity and that's why you need to shield yourself right? so that other people don't steal your joy because that's a pattern that you're breaking, you know, making other people's reality more important than your own. This time it's your turn, Tina. Well done, darling. Just needing to look after your eyesight. So Raphael just said something about your eyesight. So we're just going to do a prayer now, dear Archangel Raphael. We ask you to um, restore our eyesight and the molecular, molecular structure to master copy. We ask that you do this for Tina and anybody watching that has any trouble with their eyes. We ask you now to come into our eye socket and make it clear and clean and restore it to Master Copy. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Dear Jesus, you say, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Well, here I am, Jesus. I come unto you, heavy, Please give me rest. So it's beautiful energy here, just bathing in the love of Jesus and talking to him a little bit more often because, um, you know, there needs to be here more vocabulary so that you can unravel your feelings. So there needs to be dialogue or you could even write it. So that you can get these feelings um, very clear about what you want, you know. So it's sometimes you can write a letter to people that you need to talk to with your loved ones or any ex or somebody that you feel have feelings for. Just write the letter as though you're talking. Then after you write the nine pages, you'll be able to sleep. But in the morning, you can look at that and go, okay, well, I only really need to say this and this. And you highlight and then you're clear. You don't have to go through the eight pages in front of somebody to get to the two points that you're really wanting to say. So needing to do a little bit of work like that, which I do in our magic healing package, if you're interested in that. So this is how um, Archangel Michael's message to you is saying that um, how you'll trust other people is by trusting yourself. So thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. Right? Because, you know, yes, people have taken advantage of you in the past, but you allowed it. For some way or reason or rhyme, it was okay with you. So now you're using the power of free will. I'm like, it's just not okay. It's not peace at any price. It's just peace. It's what suits me. What makes me feel good. Romance angels, come to us now. We're doing a soulmate for Tina. Soulmate romantic love reading. What's coming up for Tina in the next July? They've got July, August, early September. They're showing me. This is a period of time. Eight weeks of what's coming in. So that's at the bottom, that's your biggest fear, right? Because that's what you've had in the past because in some way that was okay. It's just familiar. We can handle that because we know that. So that's what you're letting go of. It's underneath. It's big. It's like breaking a bad habit. And you're going to replace it with a good one. <laughs> a new one. Yes, this person is your soulmate. So you know who it is. Time to do soulmate Reiki and we can clear the energy. 
you love soulmate reiki with me stay positive playfulness is coming in big energy so here we are again paying attention to red flags and what's a red flag when you don't feel good about yourself when you're being put down or sacrificed in any way right so that's what you you, you be being tested in but it seems here it's a little bit you're being a bit paranoid because of the sensitivity around it so just keep an open mind because this person is trustworthy because you can trust your heart now so don't go into the negative thoughts darkness right this is being set up for you stay positive because this is blooming right sometimes you think it's not going to happen and then right before your eyes it blooms it only takes one moment, right? It doesn't take years. It takes a moment. It's love at first sight here. Look, love at first sight. So this is you, right, making the effort to not worry about the red flags. You don't have to search and worry about them because you'll feel them in your body, right? And look, that feels good, doesn't it? A kiss on the cheek. How good does that feel? So that's easy. And that's where you've got the highest um, vibration, right, again, to feel things. So when it feels right to you, try and stay out of the mind. Open your mind because this is coming in in a, quite an unconventional way for you. It's the person you think it is, but it's not the way you think it's going to happen. And it's a childlike um, energy coming in. But romantic and mature, I don't know, see, it's like giggling around and then making a serious commitment. That's what I get. You know? Like it goes like this. This guy's um, an air sign, I reckon. Because it goes like this, right? You don't think he's going to call and then he does. And then he talks about something about, you know, um, oh, Venice is nice this time of year. And you're like, oh, Venice, have you ever been to Venice? He goes, no, but I'd like to get married in Venice. Did you want to marry me? You're like, wow, how did that get from there to there? Only an air sign could charm you like that. He goes, well, what about this ring? Does that look all right? You're like, oh, my gosh. Then you go giddy and then you're going to let go. You're going to promise me that you're going to just enjoy this and have so much fun and you're going to get to know yourself in a new way, right? And romance, this is a mature love, right? Mature, beautiful. So let's have a look here. At how you're beautiful, mature, childlike. <laughs> That's you. It's a paradox. Do you know what I mean? Comes in. Oh, oh. He's romantic too. I'm going to stop there. Because you've had enough of this. Where is he? What's happening? Let's have a look. So. This is the worry that we see. Right? And you're worried about being out. So you actually can manifest this, being out in the cold. Right? By these. This is you. Ten of swords, nine of swords coming back in. Worry, doubt and fear. Judging yourself. I'm not worthy. I don't know whether I can do this. It's too hard work. But I want love so badly. But I want to be secure. And I don't want to be left out in the cold. So you have like a list here that this person's not fulfilling your list. That's what they're saying. Open up. And just, um, you know, let it happen how it's meant to happen, right? Because there's communication coming. This is going to change your world. This is coming to an end. There's a cycle here coming to an end and there's a commitment here. But it comes in a childlike way, right? Or an, a left field offer that turns into that. So you are not going to be left out in the cold. You must break the habit of these negative thoughts and we cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ, right? Because you're very judgmental of yourself and this is the picture that you're holding, right? Or you've shut somebody out and you're feeling guilty. But that has to, that's once you work on that and you're willing to start again, then it starts coming through, right? So it's like the end of a cycle while something new is beginning and it's up to you to not get confused to stay grounded, to clear your energy constantly, right? Because this is a long-term commitment coming in. This is very, very exciting the way it happens. So you've got the front row seat to the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> Going to watch it unfold. As the King of Cups is in love, right? He writes poetry, sings songs. It's like that wonderful, heady feeling of being in love. You know, where you want to sing songs and hold hands and watch the sunset and listen to the birds. It's a bit like that. So 
Open up to that. We're going to have a message from your beloved from the Soulmate Reiki Cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. Let's have a look. Got through a lot in this reading for you. So I'm just going to bring in some extra healing as we get some beautiful messages. A great love life requires intimacy, trust and the ability to share your feelings. Express your doubts and fears, your likes and dislikes. Talk openly. Listen. Be present. Always with an open heart and mind. So that's where you clear your mind. See, Reiki will be excellent for you. I do a 10-week program that clears all this from your past and buzzes you up. You get connected to 250 volts of universal life force. So what you think about creates much easier and effortlessly and your body heals. So intimacy is with yourself first and I found it with Jesus and you spend time and attention to get intimacy. So spending time with Jesus first. You are an angel of light and writing. Remember the writing. Before you, I surrender past and future. All that matters is this moment. My heart is transformed every time you are near. Ooh. The quality of your thoughts equals the quality of your life you experience. Thoughts are living energies that have an enormous influence on what you attract into your life. Think love and that is what you will attract. See, they're all telling you to say your affirmations, get really positive, get your vibration up by what you think about and create. Listen to romantic love stories, <laughs> movies, serenade yourself. You are a beautiful and sensitive soul. Love's objective is to help you remember who you truly are, an eternal being of light on a path to ever greater love. Just got a few more. Two hearts merge through an explosion of love. United, they create unlimited wealth. Together, they fulfill their dreams. We've got two more they're saying. Everything happens for a reason, even though the reason is sometimes unclear. I graciously accept all that transpires in the knowing that it unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. That helps us be patient, you know. We are eternally blessed by a profound love, by a sacred union with the great source of light, whose love moves the earth and stars. So we're just going to do a little healing and a prayer for you. Dear Archangel Michael, I ask that you cut all cords of fear that are draining my health and vitality now. I ask for your sword and shield of protection to be by my side day and night. I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. This card indicates that you're especially sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Archangel Michael is shielding you from harsh energy, but it's also important for you to take action steps to help you with this endeavour. For example, avoid situations where anger and or competition are expressed and stay away from bars, pubs and other places where chemicals are abused, which can attract lower energies. Follow your natural inclinations, such as keeping to yourself or spending time with soft-spoken, gentle people. Wear or carry protective crystal, such as a black obsidian. This is a black obsidian, and also look, the olive branch. There's an olive branch here. So you may be receiving an apology quite soon. So this is the, the black obsidian. It's the most powerful protection symbol. Make sure that you're physically protected, including having up-to-date health checks, insurance. Make t sure your automobile is in good working order and so forth. Use caution in dealing with this relationship or situation. So it's like stepping back, calling in Archangel Michael to help. And there's a favourable outcome and just sitting in gratitude because this is the overall message. If we don't look at the details, if you step back and open your heart to love, there's a wonderful favourable outcome here that includes the love, 
affair of a lifetime. Very romantic. And it's different for you because you'll be receiving and and giving, but receiving. It's very exciting. I hear you giggling, laughing, and champagne bottles popping. Woo woo. I look forward to contacting, connecting with you, I mean, um, in your shabam with me. And we connect live on Skype. And also um, maybe do your soulmate Reiki beforehand because there's a special on that um, is less than half price for you when you do it with a video on demand with me. You get an attunement, you get a workshop, and then you'll be ready for your shabam. I hope to connect with you soon and more of you out there. Thank you for commenting below. Thank you for purchasing your soulmate snapshot. I'm Bella Katrina from ReikiByBella.com and I thank you for your time and your attention. Always look up because God is shining his love down upon you open to receive it receive his son and your divine life partner shows up automatically in front of your heart full of love by themselves i love you thanks for watching bye for now